write a C program to insert new element at specified position of an array. Assume that we have an array variable a of 11. We ask the user to enter 10 elements that is from index 0 to 9. We leave that last index empty. Technically it will have 0 but assume that it's empty. That's because if user wants to enter a new number at position 6, assume that the user wants to enter a new number 7 there. In that case we need to move all the elements after this position 6 downwards by one position. Actually it's right shifting by one position. So at the end of this shifting operation we need to move this new number 7 to the position 6 and the resultant array will look like this as you can see on your computer screen. Let me bring up code snippet to do this. So i is initialized to the last index and this for loop iterates until i is greater than or equal to user entered position. For each iteration the i value decrements by 1. Now inside the for loop I'll shift the previous element to the next position inside the for loop. Okay, After completion of this for loop I'll enter the new number at the position entered by the user. Okay, That's it. If you didn't understand don't worry I'll explain it once again while writing this code. So POS to get the new position num to store the new number to be inserted into the array. So we will manage array size using macro. I'll give 11 here because we will get 10 elements from the user to start with and the last element or the index will be left empty. Technically it will have 0 there. So assume that it's empty. Now I'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers. The value is present inside the macro n. Remember we need to have only n minus 1 elements. Leave that last index. Okay. So let me write the regular for loop, initialize i to 0, iterate this for loop until i is less than n minus 1 and for each iteration increment the value of i by 1. Now scanf percentage d, store it inside the address of array variable a of i. So all these 10 spots 0 to 9 will be filled. Now enter the position where new number has to be inserted. So let me store the user input inside the integer variable POS, address of integer variable. Now we know the position. If user enters 6 as the position, let me output this message to the user. Enter a new number to be inserted at position percentage %d. Use all the data you have. If user has entered position as 3, display it. It will look more realistic. Okay, That's more realistic approach. Now store that new number inside integer address of integer variable num. Now loop through this. Initialize i to the last index which is n minus 1. The empty field in this in this array which is in this case a of 10. That's represented using n minus 1. So iterate this for loop until i is greater than or equal to 0 which is first index of this array and decrement the value of i by 1 for each iteration of this for loop. So if you have been following our video tutorials you might already guess that there is no need of iterating this for loop until i is greater than or equal to 0 which is first index. You could simply iterate this for loop until i is greater than or equal to the user entered position. That's all we want right? Below this position, only the elements below this position needs to be shifted to right or bottom by one position. That's all we need. We need not check until the first index which is a of 0. Okay, Or else you could even have a check inside this for loop like if the index i is greater than or equal to pos which is user entered position. Uh, either we could use this if logic or else we could have i is greater than or equal to pos. Let me show you the uh, first one which is i is greater than or equal to 0 after that use this if condition. So inside this shift the elements after the, in the position entered by the user to write by one position. So i is equal to a of i is equal to a of i minus 1 that is transfer the previous element to the next element. Okay, 
that's it now at the end at of pos the user entered position insert the new number okay now display the array element after array after inserting percentage d at position percentage d so the values are present inside num and pos now let me write the regular for loop i is equal to 0 i less than n and i plus plus and display the individual elements of this array from 0 to index 10 which are 11 elements okay i guess this will work so i'll give one 10 integer numbers leaving the last element last field of that array one two three four i'll leave five i'll skip five seven eight nine ten and eleven we have skipped five so we need to come till eleven okay so let me insert a value at position zero one two three and four in between this four and six fourth position okay i'll enter the new value which is i'll enter five so the new array element after insertion operation will be array after inserting 5 at position 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 and it's working so now uh, as i told you this for loop need not iterate until i is greater than or equal to 0 which is the first index if it iterates until i is greater than or equal to user entered position that's all we need so in that case we will have only single line of code inside this for loop and that's all we want so let's check if it works so i is initialized to the last index of the array which is empty or technically it will have zero this for loop iterates until i is greater than or equal to user entered position for each iteration i value decrements by one and inside for loop we shift the previous the value present inside the previous index to the next index that is moving all the elements from the user entered position to the last index one step to the right so i have i have skipped seven here at position six zero one two three four five and six in between six and eight so sixth position i'll enter the new value as seven okay array after inserting seven at position six one two three four five six and here we have it seven eight nine ten and eleven and it's working so now let's see if user enters a index position greater than the array index maybe eleven or or fifteen eleven still works because array size is eleven so now there is no position 15 here array size is just 11 so what is this garbage after 10 so let's fix this bug so after getting new number from the user let's have a check or else uh, this is about the position right so let's check this after user enters the position where the new new number has to be new element has to be inserted so if position is less than the size of the array which is n so in that case ask the new number or else let the use let the user know that he has entered wrong index or else let me have the entire logic inside this if block itself so this entire logic executes only and only if the user has entered a valid position that is within the size of the array or else i'll display a neat message to the user that is please enter a position within the range within the range of the array okay you could also say within size of the array so slash size so that's all we have already shown the user what's the size of the array we request the user to insert percentage d integer numbers so percentage d is n minus 1 so let's check once again so if user enters 15 
Once again, the message please enter a position within the range or size of the array gets printed out to the user. So what's next? So let's check this position is less than 11. N means 11. So let's try to insert a new element exactly at the end of that array. So let's see if that actually works. So I'll give 1 to 10 and at at 10th position I'll insert a number 11. So let's see if it works works properly. So I'll insert 11 here. So array after inserting 11 at position 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 that's working and while giving input do not assume that we need to in insert elements in sorted order you could you could insert any random numbers there and it will still work. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please do not forget to share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.